Let's uh, give you a few more details of what specifically uh, the report captures. Then we'll uh, ask government what is their interpretation of what um, this information from the CDD is. So clearly it was uh, released just yesterday, the 28th, by CDD. And this is their concern. They're saying that, or from the research they got, the information is that 62% of Ghanaians say that the economy is fairly bad or very bad. That is what 62% of them are saying. 30%, however, think that it is the other way around. It is quite okay. Um, they are saying it is fairly good or very good. That is the report from uh, CDD. These are, these are the uh, demographics in terms of gender and uh, uh, positioning demographics. So if you look at rural and urban, the differences are quite staggering. The rural folk are saying that 65% of them are in favor of the fact that the economy is going in the right direction. However, uh, those in the urban municipality are saying that no, they believe government can do better. And if you look at the numbers, they are not too different. 65% uh, that is the rural and as against 59% that is in the urban area. Age demographics are also quite clear. People from the 56 years and above uh, are uh, in the least, they are 56%. And then if you come further down, 18 to 35%, uh, 57%, they are also sharing their different opinion. The bone of contention is the direction of the country. They are saying that the direction of the country is not going as they expect. Let's go to the phone lines now and speak to Pius Enam Hajide. He's the um, Deputy Information Minister. Pius, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you for having me, my brother. Right, to start with, um, have you received this report from uh, CDD and what uh, are your preliminary comments on it? Well, thank you very much. Uh, our attitude is that we view these reports as a feedback. We are government that is interested uh, in hearing from the government and uh, we take note of the report from uh, the Afrobarometer. Uh, those points, those areas that highlight uh, major achievements will indicate to us uh, where government must continue to uh, focus attention and consolidate the gains. And those areas that also indicate the, or those points that indicate the areas where there has to be some extra work, government will also uh, redirect investments and attention into those areas so as to be able to meet the aspirations of, of the good people of Ghana. But if you, uh, the devil, they say it in the detail. If you check and you read the document properly, uh, you will notice that it is instructive that uh, a good majority of the people of Ghana believe that compared to 12 months ago, right. the economy has performed better. 51% believe that uh, the economy has performed better. Even more encouraging is that uh, a larger majority, 54%, believe that in the year 2020, the economy will even perform just better. For us, that uh, is an indication uh, of the knowledge of the people that there has been some, or there have been major fundamental challenges that this government inherited and that we have, we have had to uh, uh, enjoy the pleasure of time to fix these challenges. And so we expect that uh, the benefits of the macro uh, indicators, which are all pointing in the right direction, in the next year will begin to reflect at the micro level. And so we take it as, as good feedback and we thank the CDD uh, for the work that they continue to do. I, uh, I, I know or I'm tempted to believe that government uh, has its own monitoring mechanism in place to know how the economy is going, whether slow, fast, uh, whether it's going upward, downward, it's slow down. When you, your, the information you've been able to gather over the period trying to put your own analysis together, as against what CDD has uh, presented, is it at variance or there are similarities in the data that you've gathered? Well, let me, uh, first of all, point to you that uh, CDD, by their, by their methodology, interview about 2,400 uh, 2, uh, Ghanaian adults. Right. Uh, you are right. Government has uh, a scheme of even calling a larger number uh, than that. Uh, however, uh, we would not want to, uh, at this point, just oppose uh, our own findings uh, to that of the CDD. Uh, we take note of the CDD finding. Which other finding is out there that we are aware of? Uh, we also take note of those. But there are several things that 
uh, both the CDD report and the people of Ghana know uh, as a matter of uh, open secret, it is common knowledge mm. that uh, the economy uh, gradually has peaked. If you check the CDD report, it is indicated that by 2014, uh, 15% of the people thought that uh, the economy was moving in the right direction. What? Uh, 85% thought mm. that the economy was moving in the wrong direction. This was just a couple of years ago, in 2014, under the NDC. Yes, but Pius, if, if, you would admit, if you would admit that what is coming from CDD, about 51% of the of Ghanaians think that the country is moving in the right direction, um, clearly it should be true or false based on the figures that um, you have as a government. That, that's what I, I want to know. No, you are inviting me to contest uh, the CDD findings. I will not. Uh, it's, a, it's an invitation I will respectfully decline. I've said that we note their feedback, right? And I'm comparing the CDD's work, the, today's work, to their earlier work, mm. and I'm saying that it indicates to us that uh, the trend is getting better. From 85 percent people believing that the economy was moving in the right direction uh, in 2014 under the NDC, today. Uh, 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 it has reduced drastically to uh, a little over 50 percent who believe that the economy is moving in the right direction and uh, is moving in the wrong direction. Okay, still okay. that there's still room for improvement, there's still work to do. But an admission that a lot of work has already actually also gone in to move it down from 85 percent mm. to a little uh, over 50 percent. And so we are saying that we are not there yet, but any honest observer will admit that this has been a good term and that we need to continue in this part to, uh, to, to make sure that we get to where we all want. Make life better for Ghanaians. All right. Thank you very much. A pleasure talking to you as always. Pius Ennam Hajide, Deputy Information Minister. Um, uh